Oh my god, I look like Freaky Friday. <laughs> the mom from Freaky Friday. I actually ended the vlog for today, but then something else came up that I felt like I should probably film. So Jarvis is texting me from work that he doesn't feel well. So I am going to make some chicken noodle soup. He's requested soup today. So I'm gonna try to make it with the stuff that I have. So I've got these leftover noodles that I can use. I actually happen to have carrots. <laughs> I mean, I only have baby carrots, but they're carrots. So I've got carrots. I actually, believe it or not, have celery as well, which I usually don't have. And I have like chicken stock. And then I also have, oh, I need mince garlic. Um, he's also requested my homemade you know, no need bread as well. Probably gonna need to get the yeast out. Yeah, he's requested a couple different things, but he says he's really not feeling well. I think get this butter out too, because I'm gonna need some butter. So I'm gonna begin preparing this stuff and I'm gonna get my stock pot out. Oh, I need chicken as well. I've got a lot of elements here that I'll be needing, but yeah, I've got this big stock pot. I'm gonna use these not chicken bouillon cubes. I have a, I, luckily I have a lot of these. So yeah, I just pulled up this recipe. What I like to do when I make a recipe is I just go to whatever recipe has the most, you know, best reviews. So <clears throat> pepper, okay, here's the problem. Dried rosemary, I don't think I have dried rosemary. I'm just gonna have to use maybe Italian seasoning. I could also maybe use maybe this all purpose seasoning. Crushed red pepper flakes, I do have those. Just need to do three to four large carrots diced, ribs of celery diced, garlic, that's it, it's very easy. But I just wanna get some stuff going. So I think I'm gonna get the chicken broth going. It says I need 10 cups of chicken broth. So these are for two cups, so I would need five. Bouillon cubes, is that right? So I'm getting the chicken going right now. So I'm just turning that on. I'm gonna lid on that for seven minutes. So I just wanna get that going and then I'm gonna brown it and chop it up. That's just the way that I prefer to do it. I'm gonna start chopping up the vegetables right now. So luckily for me, I own a magnificent chopper that I owe my life to at this point. I freaking love it. So I could not seriously dice up celery any other way and I would not, okay, and I would not. So, good thing I ordered this. I wasn't gonna order carrots this week. And I ended up doing that. So, how many do I need exactly? I need three to four large carrots, two ribs of celery. So, I'm gonna do three ribs of celery because I really like celery. And these are already cut and like, these are already washed as well. I'm just gonna cut the end off because the ends look kind of weird. Alrighty. So I'm gonna start chopping these. Here we go. For me, the key is to hit it like, you gotta kind of slap it. Anyone remember the slap chop commercial? Commercials that would come on TV? Cause I do. <laughs> uh, cause I do. Oops, there's a hair in here. Um, I wonder if I should put more celery in, but I don't know, we'll see. So I'm just gonna do something. Look how easy this is, I love it. I'm just gonna try to do like an equal amount of carrots. Oops. Say that's about equal. So we got those going. Love that. And then when this when that chicken is done, which will be done in three minutes, I'm gonna actually chop it up on this board and then I'm gonna put the celery and the carrots in there and the garlic. So add butter, diced celery and carrots to a large stock pot over medium heat, saute for three minutes, add garlic and cook for another 30 seconds. Yeah, this is so easy. Like actually so easy because you actually cook this. You cook these noodles here in the broth. I've been, 
I've been waiting to use these because we've had them for a very long time. I think I should put more water in there. So, all right, I'll come back when I'm getting the other stuff ready to go. All right, the chicken's done, so I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put it on the cutting board. And then in the same pot right here, I'm gonna put the celery and onion. So I need to put like half a tablespoon of butter. Now I'm going to add this. I feel like I need more celery. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, salt to this just to kind of bring out the flavors. And then I'm gonna cook this for about three minutes. I'm gonna put this on medium heat. The stock is ready. So that'll be good to go once this is all done. So I'll just kind of keep it boiling because I'm gonna then put the pasta in there as well. But as I'm, this is cooking, I'm gonna quickly chop up the chicken right now. And it's probably gonna be hot, and it is. I just like to brown it because I feel like it tastes better, you know? All right, all chopped up. All right, so I'm gonna add in the, what's it called? The uh, vegetables, okay. And then this is at a boil. So it says once this gets to a boil, which I've already had at a boil, season the broth. Okay, so I need to season this. How much do I add to this? One eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, so I'll just do a fourth of a teaspoon of the seasoning. And then one teaspoon of salt. We got a lot of salt in here, y'all. <laughs> and then I need half a teaspoon of black pepper. Crushed red pepper flakes, I'll add a little bit. Okay, it said to taste this. Let me taste it. Definitely smells good. It's freaking hot. I think I need to add more water, honestly. All right, so that's gonna come back up to a boil now. It was just a little bit strong and very salty. Probably should have tasted it, honestly, before I put more salt in. But I need to add in the pasta now. Be cautious to not overcook them. I'm gonna cook this for about eight minutes and then I'll take it off the heat. So just barely under. Okay, soup is done. I'm gonna add the chicken right before Jarvis gets home. He's about to be home in probably 30 minutes. So I'm gonna start on the bread, the no need bread. So all it is, I'm actually using my dough whisk for the first time. Well, not the first time, but one of the first times. So, let me get it. So you need three cups of flour. This is so freaking easy. But it takes about 18 hours to proof. So, it's quite a while. So, so I need two teaspoons of the non-iodized salt. Half a teaspoon of active dry yeast. I thought there was more yeast in there. I need one and a half cups of water, but it needs to be 110 degrees. Okay, this is perfect. So I need one and a half cups. I'm just going to use my new Danish dough whisk. It makes it so easy and I don't have to get this all over. And you just kind of bring it into a scraggly dough. It's the easiest freaking recipe in the world. But it tastes like sourdough. I might need to add a little bit of more powder or flour. All right, so there's the dough. Actually, you only need 12 hours for it to sit. So I'll ask my Google when that'll be. But this is done. So I'm just going to cover this and then set that aside for tomorrow. All right, I'm going to do a little taste test. Here it is. I don't know if you can see that. I, I did put two, like a couple pieces of chicken in here too. This is piping hot. Oh, that's spicy. Oh my God. It's like peppery. Very flavorful. I could probably add some more water to it, honestly. Mmm. Wow, that chicken is good. Wow. It's very salty. This is probably the most flavorful chicken broth or chicken noodle soup I've ever had. This is freaking good. 
Wow, he's gonna get home and he's gonna be like, wait, what? The noodles are absolutely perfect, the length that I cooked them. I snapped with this, I mean, the recipe did, but. Hey Google, what time will it be 18 hours from now? In 18 hours, it's going to be 10.21 a.m. tomorrow. That'd be perfect for me to make the bread. Wow, this is seriously good. Time to serve it up. There it is. Yum. Anyway, that's it. Bye.